and as you can see, it can be easily assembled straight from the box with no real extra tools. Uh, the case itself costs 30 USD, which is a pretty good deal for a nice looking case such as this, so I thought I'd give it a shot. As you can see, the package came with plastic for the case and stand, a nice matching sticker pack, screws, and bump on feet for the case. The first step in assembling the case is to cut off all the plastic attachments and we'll be using the wire cutter for that. I do have to admit, this is quite some work to put together, as when we cut the plastic attachments off, there are still some poking out that was stopping the front and back from sliding in. But, we scraped those bits clean and got it to fit nicely. The keyboard stand was very easy to build, looks clean, and I was generally surprised they could include it at such a low price.
part of the keyboard. We'll be using a DZ60 solder PCB, a silver aluminum plate, GMK screw and stabilizers, which we have lubed, clipped, and banded modded, and finally, Novel Kid screw screws. For improved typing sound and feel, we'll also be using some modular foam between the plate and PCB. Before we can put all of our switches in, we're going to have to put some of the outer edges in the center to provide better stability when the is pressed in. This step is definitely not necessary, but we definitely recommend it, especially when using PCB and plate foam.
Now that we're done with that, we can put the rest of the switches in, always making sure that each set of pins is straight. In addition to the plate foam, we'll also be using some little case foam for the maximum sound depth. For the keycaps, to keep that nice and clean modern look, we'll be using an XDA canvas which is a keycap set available on the front website designed by Beatrice. It also comes with some nice colored accent keys and will be using them.
looks super clean. Let's see how it performs.